I plotted a challenging three day route in the Lake District to help me reconnect with nature and to push my body over some of the highest mountains in the UK. The weather was unforgiving at times but it did little to dampen my spirits as I soaked in the glorious scenery and let Mother Nature do as she's always done. Join me as I take on some of the highest peaks the UK has to offer all the while making time to appreciate the natural beauty and remote wilderness of the English Lake District. Hello, welcome to another video. Hopefully I've told you what I'm doing in this one in the intro because only future me really knows what happened on this hike. Current me haven't really got a clue. I've just pretty much made my own route on the OS maps which I'll leave a link to below you can check out my exact route. We're doing the, the Lakeland three passes. I found that the Lakeland three passes but it was only like 30 miles or something it's maybe two or three days so I've added a bit on it and created an eight like a figure eight. You can park in the middle of this figure eight do your first loop Grab whatever you need to resupply or drop stuff off at your vehicle as you're just passing it and you're up around doing another loop back to your vehicle. The figure eight route is the new circular route. We'll get into ah my knee. We'll get into gates. <laughs> Absolute shite. I might have to put you down to sort this shit out. Yeah. What's happening? Can't get it in. Oh, oh it don't go in. Terrible. Sorry. There's a lot of elevation on this hike, so it is a, it's a demanding on the legs. There's lots of up and downs, and we're going to take in Scarfell Pike, and it's forecast rain, thunder and lightning, and all good clobber. I've only got this window to do this while I'm up north, so rain all you want. I don't have a raincoat either, because I just chucked everything in the van, and I was like, I'm off. We'll be reaped. And we stay on this until we get up on the tops and then instead of going down Grasmere Common, I believe it's called, we're going to go right and explore some new stuff and I'm looking forward to it. I feel like it's been non-stop and I can't wait to get a day or two into this hike just to, uh, just to relax and just get into it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Where we're headed, top of that thing. This is a cheeky little climb up here, pretty steep. That's where we're going, top of there. Whoa, it's a beast! It's a beast! A lot easier than last time because last time it was frozen. Not only was it a beast, it was an icy beast during a proper cold spell so this ain't too bad I'm after a bit of an exercise like a something that'll test me I mean I've already got my hiking poles out I didn't use them once on the Dales Way or whatever it was called I don't want to be broken but I want to be on the verge you know where I've got to dig deep them ones where you think you might not make it <laughs> that's the best way to find out about yourself as well what minerals you've got in tank not in a toxic masculinity way just in a, a me versus me let's have a look what's let's have a look what's under hood kind of affair and it's best way to not only find out about you know your mental fortitude and your physical prowess it's good for your kit as well putting in long miles over arduous terrain is the best way to test your kit it'll soon have you bringing out a lighter kit as well oh she's beautiful <laughs> let's get to the top oh. <laughs> yes 
Yes. There we are. And that's where I bedded for night. That's where I'd probably want the coldest nights ever. And off we go. This is where I said, oh, I can't remember what I said. Something about I've done well not to stand in bog or something like that. And as just as I was saying it, foot sank. Rigade. And all this would be usually soaking wet. But I'm able to just. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, right on cue. <sighs> Thankfully guys, it's completely frozen over so uh, I'm able to just walk I'm able to just glide across the top of the ice like like some sort of figure skater without plummeting into the freezy cold peaty nonsense. Oh yeah. <laughs> bit of uh bit of joyous. I like it made me laugh though, I got it, I got myself. The old <laughs> got me that. Riding funny bone. Oh, it's not funny though because it's cold on foot and it's so early doors when we just set off We have to revisit that from time to time don't we? <laughs> it's a classic It's a classic It's nippy I <laughs> yeah. feel I'm woefully underprepared in clothes department but Knee mind Look at this mate, they finished it They hadn't quite finished it before Last time I was up here it's all done and dusted Which is amazing because This is kind of becoming a popular section now because of the coast to coast and stuff it was never as popular before but as my mate sid was saying it's just getting more and more popular so putting this in is an amazing thing for you know for hikers and stuff so you're not going to get bog foot and it is a med medish you'll be all right kid and uh it's also good for the land because here because it was so boggy and sparse there was no real path, so everyone just sort of makes their own up and you get a lot of footfall smashing all grounding, so having a clear path through, it's better for everybody. Look at this, man. This is fantastic stuff. If I bring you nothing else on this hike, please appreciate the sheer effort it has taken to make this path because these aren't wobbling and each one must be, oh my god, some of these must be like half a ton. As I know, they're absolute units, man. They're about, about six or seven inch thick, some of them. Just units. Excellent work and it's much appreciated. Remember this little bog pit as well. There's a few people on it, look. Is that D of E? D of E, D of E. Little young fraggles giving it some. I'm kicking myself. Kicking myself. I've got it wrong way. So early doors. <sighs> it's annoying because I've done this valley and I'd planned to go over that way. Up top of there and along there, man. And I've cacked it and I'm not going all the way back up there to, to then do that. So I'm going to just try and go round. <sighs> In a oh, fuck. <laughs> That's it. Look, just always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. Ah. You choose, don't you? You can choose. <laughs> you can choose whether you've got wrong way, and then you get bog foot. And your head goes, oh, it's just life, isn't it? We get to go a different way with a bit more hiking, and I've refreshed my feet up. Grass mere common. It's beautiful, but all this is part of it. And so on my OS map, I've put this bit, thinking that this bit, this sort of ridge, was that one. So I thought, get to here, then I'll go right. But I was supposed to go right on the top of that thing, so. Instead of just shimmying across here with nice views and that, I've come 
like a big loop down round and I've got to go back up here. I'm glad I came wrong way. It's beautiful, it's offering me some lovely views. I can hear running water anyway and I tell you this summit, I'll be doing as many dips as I can on this one. Just had a wonderful dip in here. It even gets deep enough to have a little swim in the middle. I wouldn't have found it had I not got lost or gone the wrong way. So it's making me realize that I'm not gonna necessarily stick to the path that I've plotted into my OS map on this one. I'm just gonna go where I feel like it again. I like, I love these trips. And then at the end, I'll plot in my route and see what I've done. That's the best, I think that's the best thing. I'll stick to it, but if I see any like bodies of water or anything cool on the map, I'm just gonna make a detour. I'm in no rush, you know, even if I don't make this hike, it's a figure of eight, so I can always just stop at the first, I like, take my time and stop at the first one or add bits to it. I've lost the path. Any of you lot know? No. Sorry if you can't hear me, it is a bit windy. And there is a, a route that goes straight down here and over here to Angle Tarn, which is in a little delve in the mountains there. Oof. Which would cut out the cut out this bottom section that I was planning on doing but I don't want to cut it out can you even hear me shall I just get somewhere sheltered it's pointless uh, and obviously I'm just going to keep hiking until I'm until I'm about spent but the thing we're going this way is I might just be I might be down bottom <laughs> so I won't get me views and stuff but it's pretty windy and the forecast isn't great, so maybe that's a good thing. Langdale Pikes. Pretty steep down here. Not been, uh, not been doing much to the camera, voice-wise, because it's been blowing a hooli, and I'm like, well, I'm just shouting, and I'm not even sure you can hear me. But I bring you here for these lovely views of Lee Tan and this Langdale Pike. It's pretty steep to be fair. It's pretty steep. Shit. Hey, what's that again? 
Right, it's six, there's pointless, pointless talking here, isn't it? It's windy as. It's six o'clock. There is an alehouse somewhere down there. I spy. <laughs> so, although I'm not staying, although, like, although I'm wild camping tonight for sure, I aren't going to rule out a bite to eat. There she blows, the old alehouse. Hiya. Uh... <laughs> that alehouse that I saw from top over there, sacking it off. I'm just going to keep walking. And there's another one down here about maybe 15, 20 minutes. We'll see what that one's about. I am hungry, mate. I've been, well, I've not eaten really today. It's nice, isn't it? Huh? If that's got, if that little thing there's got a plunge pool, I might have a quick dip. Nah, could lie down in it. Wonder if there's another one up there. Oh, come on then, let's have a look. Shouldn't be doing this to my legs, but I'd like a dip, man. I'd like to freshen up. Also, I smell, so it'd be nice to get to wash my shirt, maybe even. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, brand new, absolutely brand new Tommy! A little bit soggy for alehouse but a bit Lake District, fresh as a daisy, I needed that as well, I'm starting to hum a bit. I'll get as dry, dried up as best as I can and let's go, I've earned some food now man, I am hungry. That's interesting, not so much that even though that is Nice, it's this, look, he's put it on inside. And then bolted it on at the other side, look. Willy Wonka, how's she faring? Uh, is that a pass? No, I'm too strict, you can't. That's what I needed. Nice fuse though. I can still see you, mate. There's good effort, though. Lovely, lovely little stop at there. The head chef came out and collared me because uh, he's watched me Cape Raft Trail video, so I had a bit of a chat with him. Hello, mate, if you're watching. Great pie, thank you. Suitably refreshed, and now it's cracking on a bit. Half eight, nine, something like that. There's a chill in the air now. And I'm gonna go find somewhere to camp. I'm not bothered about views or a water source or anything like that. My main thing is just somewhere flat. <laughs> I'll take it. That, that uh, walk by was sponsored by a pie. The energy of a pie. A lot of stones underground. So even if, if I can't get my tent pegs in, I can just use these big stones from backside at river. Nice views. I'm in this valley, so the wind didn't get in me. I think this is home for night. One of my thoughts was I'll push up and get up to Angle Tarn, but it looks a bit ominous up there, and I'll probably just get there at dark anyway. So here's as good as anywhere. In fact, let's just do one of these. It's easier, isn't it? With that. The Gossamer gear. That's what I mean, the Gossamer gear, the one. Super lightweight. It'll do job. I had condensation last time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the doors back both and just leap doors open and just have this mesh. I've got a nice view. And I don't think it's gonna be too cold, so I'll do that and see what see how I get on. And if I get condensation with door open, yoink. See ya. Uh, gonna have to be quick to get into Wigwam. There's a lot of there's a lot of red ants kicking about. Every stone that I picked up to put round my tent, there was a nest under it, so we'll get in and get doors closed. <laughs> but first, 
we've got to pump it up and I'm using my can you read it ah oh, forget it man the flexi tail pump it's an absolute dream it's loud but you can just leave it and it blows it up in no time look at that that's nearly done already there you go all done and uh, it's also a really bright light as well I'll leave a link below to that I've got a discount for it if you want it it's like uh, I'll put it on the screen now I think it's Hayes or Hazy 15 and you get 15% off this fully charged the last this whole trip no blowing your airbed up if you're if you if you're into camping they can even blow um, paddle boards up and inflatable dinghies I blew my mates inflatable dinghy up with one and it's quite a big unit I fully recommend it anyway get after it there's a link below if you want only if you want get in there for you right let's move in I'll just keep this one like uh, like that so that I can put my bag I, it clips in like this look it's got like a you can just clip it on and off so I'll leave that on so it's got my bag's got somewhere to shelter because I think it's gonna rain uh, will it keep dry kind of yeah that'll be all right won't it um, yeah as I say the tent is the Gossamer gear the one it's only 500 gram and it's a hiking pole tent a single wall tent I've used this in winter and it's uh, it's bad for condensation makes it so it is small in it but and it's got no mesh so unless you leave doors open you're gonna get soggy but I'm hoping that won't be the case this time my sleeping bag of choice is just the Rab Neutrino 400 good down to minus seven won't be needing that the Neo Air Uber Light and my Quechua pillow bit of water uh, <laughs> some merino, a merino wool layer that's it nothing more spectacular than that and then tomorrow see on the uh, Cumbria Way me and Fern went up this pass here which is a beast but I believe this is even steeper and we're going to head up there first thing tomorrow morning it's about half nine now so I'm just going to get in pit I've got no signal I've got I, I might have an audio book downloaded or something so I can have that while I drift off but I'm knackered I put a shift in today and I can feel it so it won't be long till I'm in land of nod oh it's good to be back out and it's good to be on a rando one where we don't know where we're going to end up or what we're going to do but it's been a good start I've enjoyed today and tomorrow we head up there and we're taking on Scarfell Pike the highest mountain in the UK and a couple of others actually there's some whoppers tomorrow tomorrow's a tough day so stay tuned for that that'll be the next video oh i'll leave you in the capable hands of future me and all our favorite times map time thanks for watching Way. welcome to future me and map time i'm doing it like this because usually i'll just go to my map and we do map time but a lot of my stuff is in storage because I've um, I've moved house so all my maps are in storage and I didn't have any and I was like oh no I love me map time we love me map time we love our map time Fern had the bright idea to go to to go charity shopping to this big charity shop to see what they had and I was rifling through at this charity shop and look at these Just, like just what I needed the perfect places I didn't need to get all four just these two so it just worked out perfectly and I've just been <laughs> looking at them for the last hour I've had them out on the table and the fascinating the little differences and stuff between these and the new ones that I've got because they're proper like old school but enough waffling let's get into it so I left me van in Rostweight and off I went by the side of Stonethwaite Beck and I've travelled this many a time on the tour of the Lake District and on the coast to coast and we keep going down here nice and gradual and then what was a steady climb becomes a bit of a punchy number up here this is your first leg pumper and I've camped on the top of it, it gives you some lovely views over Borrowdale over the newly paved area now this is where I goofed mate I'd planned to go along this ridge here 
past high rise but I kept going down past Bogfoot to here thinking that this ridge was this ridge Gary Goodridge so I had a little look at my map and I ended up going this way and I'm really glad I did because I found some amazing swim spots and the views were spectacular back up to high rise and down and now we're on to the second map bear with me so here from high rise the wind was blasting me down here but again just some lovely bodies of water and some lovely views over the top looking down on stickle tarn over thunnaker not down here through langdale pikes again really windy then that subsided down here as we got down this edge feeling it on the legs a bit and then we double back this is where i plunged in that waterfall to have a little bit of a wash and along we go i stopped here for a delightful pie and a pint only three percent gear though needed to keep me wits about me and off i went with a spring in my step and a pie in my legs following mickledon beck and then I got to here and I thought, right, well, I could have made it, I could have tried to push up to Angle Tarn, but it was getting dark and I thought it best to take advantage of this flat bit of ground. So that's where I pitched up and that's where I am for the night. And you can join me tomorrow when we tackle this. I won't zoom out because it'll show you where I'm going, but we're going up here tomorrow. Right, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification if you want to be notified of the next upload. And I'll see you soon.